All right, uh, thank you for staying with us. And um, yep, it's Monday morning. And of course, uh, a dose of motivation is definitely what you need to take you through the week. We have Larry Olushola, who is the founder and chief catalyst at the Olushola Larry Coaching Academy, a Mind, Emotions and Behavioral Change Academy. Now he's renowned for his extensive array of works of coaching, publishing and keynote speaking with individuals, organizations locally and internationally. And this morning, He'll be talking to us about purpose, identity, and vision. Good morning, Larry. It's great to have you on the show this morning. Good morning. It's great to be on your show this morning. You All know, right. wake up. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh -huh. always a pleasure. So now our, um, our overlying topic is four critical things you need to survive, thrive, and succeed in difficult times. But this morning, we're looking at purpose, identity, and vision as one of those four things. That's what we're looking at, right? Yeah. Yes, that's what we're looking at. You know, okay. we're, we're in very difficult times, very difficult times, very chaotic times all over the world. And people are asking, how do I survive this COVID-19 pandemic? How does my business, my career, how do I survive it? People are asking beyond survival, how do I thrive? And beyond thriving, how do I succeed? And so, um, you know, that's why um, Wake Up Nigeria is, is put together this series because you know, they are up to solve the problems that people have. And I'm really excited that, you know, um, I'm one of the, you know, um, speakers that, that are going to be helping uh, to help people solve uh, this critical issue. All right. Now, purpose, that's something that a number of people find it very hard to understand. What do you mean by purpose? How do I find my purpose? Especially in times like this, some people just feel like surviving is enough. Purpose, let's start with that. What exactly is purpose? How do you find your purpose? How do you go about living a purposeful life? I'll just tell my own story. You know, um, I studied civil engineering, uh, you know, like uh, for five years. I graduated in 1990. I worked uh, for a satellite telecommunications firm for about two years. And then, you know, I went, went on to, to follow my passion. Uh, I was into fashion, so I opened a clothing store. And, you know, I continued doing my engineering, renovating, doing interiors and building. And I went on to build other complementary businesses. So by the time, um, you know, it was 15 years down, down the line that I started, right, I'd set up 14 complementary services and businesses. And so one morning I was praying um, and I heard you know, God tell me, shut down all your businesses. It's time for you to begin to fulfill your purpose. And, you know, because I've always had a relationship with God, I sought, you know, more clarification. What is my purpose? And it says to me, I, I, I need you to go and transform lives by transforming minds. Now, it is important for us to recognize that everything that exists has a purpose. Every single thing that exists has a purpose. And everything that exists was manufactured by something or by someone. So, for example, you know, um, a lot of people say that there was a big bang concept. Oh, yeah, there was a big bang that created everything that we see now. Imagine a big bang creating this device. Or imagine a big bang creating a Mercedes G Wagon. Imagine a big bang creating a house. Imagine a big bang creating, you know, people. Do you know how complex? You know, your, your essence is, your biology is, your psychology is. No big bang created you. You were created specifically by God. And if you want to know the reason why you exist, because everybody exists for a reason, you've got to go back to your manufacturer and find out the reason why you exist. So if I want to utilize this device to the optimum, I will go back to the manufacturer through the manual and find out what this device is for. But if I use this device to fry dodo, akara, and eggs, what will happen? I would destroy it. Now, a lot of people are putting themselves to abnormal use, abuse, and that's why they're not functioning optimally. They're not happy. They're not satisfied. They do not feel fulfilled. Now, it is important for you to know your purpose because your purpose also correlates with your identity. <clears throat> I say to people that 
Birth and life announces the beginning of purpose, and death announces the end of purpose. Now, I have a few things here. This is a knife, right? Mm. But not every knife is the same. This knife is different from this knife. And now I'm, I'm going to identity, and I'm correlating it with purpose. Okay. Now, this is a knife that cuts things. This is a knife that you eat with. If you go and eat a dinner at a fancy restaurant and you ask for this knife to eat, they are going to look at you and say that you are pushed. Very true. This knife does not go with eating. Mm. This knife goes with this. This is what it is created for. Mm. So if you take this knife and you want to eat with this, people are going to know that you are putting this knife to abnormal use and you may injure yourself. Okay. Now, it is important for us to recognize that. Now, also, it is important for us to know that we need to sit down and ask ourselves some fundamental questions. Number one, what problem am I passionate about solving? What situations can I not look past? I must comment on it. It makes me angry. Or, you know, you, you also ask yourself, what am I passionate about? How about, how, about, how about, Larry, how about someone who says, nothing makes me angry? I'm okay with everything as it is. I, I, I don't find, I've not seen anything that makes me decide to want to make a change in a particular um, sphere or something. All right, so then you now ask yourself this question. What have people always asked you to help them with? Mm. Is it that when you are doing it, right, time goes mm. and you may not eat? What is it that, you know, um, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are an expert at doing, but it seems like it's not important? Okay, so right? what you're saying now is that if you by yourself cannot define your identity, people around you can also help you define your identity. That's what you're saying, right? Purpose, purpose. purpose. Okay. What you are is your purpose. Who you are is your identity. Okay. So the identity of this thing is knife. It is the name and the label that was given to it. Now, what is this? I cannot say who is this, right? I will say what is this. Now, what is this is that this knife is created to cut. That's the function. That's the purpose. Mm -hmm. However, the label that we gave it is knife, right? That's why when God created, <laughs> excuse me, when God created every bird every fish every animal he took them to adam to identify and give it a name now everything on earth right that 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 exists on earth has a name has an identity it is your differentiation factor hmm. your identity is your differentiator it is your identification your uniqueness you know God has a concept of personal branding it is your personal brand and it correlates with your purpose. You cannot brand yourself outside of your purpose. Now, when a lot of people do personal branding, they do not consider the function for which they exist. They do not consider the essence for their existence. They do not con consider the purpose that they exist for, the problem that they are here to solve. I want to announce to everybody that in this COVID time, it is time for you to sit down, reflect, and begin to interrogate yourself and have a conversation with your manufacturer and mm. ask, who am I? What am I? Mm. Also important is who you are not and what you are not. Because you may want to be many things or many people may want you to be many things. You may want to do many things and many people may want you to do many things, but you cannot do everything. There is a purpose for your life. And you know, the next topic that, that, that we're going to be talking about is environment. And there's a place where your purpose and environment where your purpose will flourish. That mm. will be for next week. Okay, However, all right. So, sir, we just have a very, very little time, no. but let's touch on vision before we run out of time. Purpose, identity, yes. now, and vision. Let's touch on vision. All right, so once you have discovered your purpose, you have given it an identity, then you have to see it. A vision is tantamount to sight. Mm. Vision is about seeing with your physical eyes and seeing with your psychological eyes and seeing with your, the eyes of your spirit. 
a vision is about sight. It's a, and there can be good sight and there can be bad sight. Now, without vision, people destroy things. They destroy their lives. They destroy other people's lives. They destroy things. You can have good sight. You can have bad sight. Now, there are certain sight diseases, right? There's glaucoma. There's cataract. There's, you know, blindness. Now, it is important for you to see clearly where you are going. Mm. Because there is a journey for every purpose. If you do not know the pathway to deliver and where the end is, the vision gives you the end. It gives you the pathway. And under the vision are goals that you set. So vision gives you foresight. Vision gives you your current sight. And in between your current sight and your foresight of your desired end is your pathway. And vision gives you insight. It helps you understand and know what you're supposed to be doing and what you're not supposed to be doing. Vision correlates with your purpose and your identity. Vision gives you clarity. It mm. gives you direction. It gives you movement. It gives you ownership. It gives you responsibility. It gives you meaning, momentum, and personal power. Thank Vision. <laughs> wow. Bro. This nugget out so much. I, I, it's, 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 it's a wonder how we can push this into 12, 15 minutes. But we will continue on this series, sir. Thank you so much for um, what we've been able to learn today. Purpose, identity, and vision. We'll kick off from this next week. Thank you very much, Larry. Thank you. All right, that was Larry Lushala. And of course, I hope you're able to learn something and glean something from that. We'll definitely have this video on YouTube for those of you who want to go back to this and get something from this. We'll take a recess now when we get back. The final lap of the show will kick off.